Got it away from Abdelnavi by Johnson and saved beautifully by Hunt. And Vegas brings it down. No score yet. Now the Wolves. Taken away by Butler. Abdelnavi thought he had an offensive board. Augman is picked up quickly by Hurley. They get inside to Johnson for the game's first. Abdelnavi and keeps it himself. He's swatted away by Augman. Perfect. Quickly into the hands of Augman, and he is cut off by Abdelnavi out high. Augman likes to get into the baseline on the left side. This time he'll turn it into the paint and pass to Johnson, who was there, and Bricky fouled him. A good defender on Leitner down inside, fighting over the top. They get into Leitner now, and he hits Abdelnabi for Duke's first field goal of the game. Good inside defense by Leitner that time. Good cut. Ricky's inside on Ogman, and he drew the foul. Successfully cut off. Tremendous half-court defense being applied by Duke. Anthony will take it. That's his second field goal. And he thought he could get it there. Anthony goes back in and digs it out. Tough shot. And again, a rebound for Scurry. They find Hunt. Gets inside over Leitner for the field. 15-24 to go. First half with Billy Packer. I'm Brent Musburger. 11-6. 2-2-1. Full court press. And he gets... Abdul Nabi out of the game with Davis in. Rookie for the layup. Henderson with a lot of time, misfiring. Johnson off with the rebound. Lead now to Ogman in a foot race with Kubek. Hurley's back in, going inside him, and a blocking foul. And throughout his career, but Stacy Ogman is the best finisher on the break that I have ever seen in college basketball. Beautiful faking. He's in control all the time. He can glide with his jumping ability. He's very smart and intelligent with his decision-making on the break, and he can use right or left appear to be into it defensively, but they're out of sync here at the offensive end in the early minutes, Billy. Now Henderson on the inside against Johnson hits the field goal. In the right position, so instead of chopping with the foul, he stays in the game. That's more important than trying to block that shot. That's three. Saturday, and what should we look for here tonight? Look like Arkansas was affected more than anybody else. What's going to affect Duke right now is that matchup with two. Abdelnabi down low. Early able to swing in one of Abdelnabi and Johnson read it. Now into the hands of Hunt. Two on one. At the end of the game, let them get a little taste of the game in the first half. Because it's hard to come in cold if you've never played before. Steal by Augman. Henderson's back. He's special in their half-court offense at all. Very tentative. Duke has turned it over seven times here in the Eight. early goal. <laughs> Johnson back to Augman. Wanted Johnson. Look at Johnson's quickness. What a play! Saves it, and here's Anthony. And for Mike Krzyzewski, he has to figure out a way to overcome this great defense Vegas has put on him. Good steal far by Vegas. Duke not in their half-court offense at all. Duke's average turnovers has been 15, and already there are nine here tonight. Leighton misfiring, taken away by Abdelnabi. Hesitation dribble. No place to go. Now it's Hurley trying to squeeze through, and he does. This is Bricky. Distribution on the fouls. Henderson at the top. Off the fake. Here's Hunt. Gets to the baseline on Hurley. Gets him in the air and then bangs in another field sideline. So Vegas brings it down now. They've led it all the way. It's 23-15. Ten minutes to go now. And Young, who is checked in off the Rebel bench, goes to Butler, who's out high. Abdul not be there. As Anthony gets on the inside and knocks down another field goal. I think Mike Krzyzewski at that time now told his team to up-tempo. They're playing very passively up to this point. Henderson coming in. Hitting that one. Young puts it down. Oh, there. Anthony wants Johnson low. Couldn't do anything, and it'll be Anthony coming.
coming down to the baseline. Excellent two-man game. And now young by Jones. Hunt comes inside. Forcing the ball up the court quickly. It allows Vegas to get set. Henderson. That picture of the bench told you that Anthony and Hunter back on the floor now for the ribs. Well, Jerry goes back with his regular starting lineup. Ogman. Henderson losing it, but it is picked up by Davis, and Anthony almost stole it, and now Hurley gets it back. They go in deep to Abdelnabi. Great help from the weak side by Johnson. The Rebels are flying at the blue in the field goal. Eight points for the game. play tough defense in the first half. They waited until the second half against Georgia Tech. Leitner from the right baseline. That's his first field goal of the game. There's that high. Total domination here by UNLV on both ends of the floor. The quickness on defense. That's the move by Hurley. You got to dribble into talking about the eye contact had already been made. There's Stacy Ogden with that tremendous ability of his to glide up. Good half-court movement by UNLV. And then you know who they're looking for. There it is. Ah! Really sitting down on Bobby Hurley. Won't let him penetrate with the dribble. Deep. Abdul Nader for the layup. Leighton taps it into the hands of Vegas. And Anthony. The long throw, but instead he hands it off quickly to Anthony, who brings it up. Time for Anthony. Oh, yeah. on him. Butler whips it back to the top, and there is Johnson. Jerry Tarkanian probably hoping he misses a couple of those jumpers. The pro scouts are just drooling when he can step outside and hit that one as well as play the low post. I continue to keep Hurley on the outside. Now it is Ricky looking in. Abdelnabi fronted by Johnson, so they'll stay at the perimeter. Henderson. Abdelnabi hands to Hurley. Time he tried to drive it in and he was more successful. It'll be Henderson. Got to take some chances. They were down 16. Now it's back to 11. Good push. Deep to Bob. Beautiful play. And Bob to give you any confidence they can make the comeback here. From the left baseline. Henderson now watching from the sideline. And here's Honda Lowe coming in on Leitner. And it'll Leitner with three fouls could not jump on him as aggressively as he normally would have. Davis now coming in on the inside. It'll be Johnson with his second. Kubek and Henderson will have to check back in for the Blue Devils. Brookie, it'll be Leitner. Hurley picks up Anthony. Great pullback on Butler. He's the man that could get it. Hunt off the fake. Up over. Watch here. We've got five Duke players all ahead of Anderson Hunt right here, who's going to break down the right side. Butler will occupy the defense by going down the center, and watch how the perfect delayed fast break works. Here comes Hunt beating him down the floor, and the man that was last in the race ends up first at the. At With Billy Packer, I'm Brett Musburger. 15-50 to go in regulation. It's been all Vegas tonight. They're up 59-47. Leitner out on Johnson, who puts it on the floor on the dribble and comes up and uses the glass. Las Vegas and Duke. 
still don't have a three. Knocked away, and Ogman up with it. It's a three on two. Hurley contains him. Cross to Hunt. Here's the three. Shots from the three-point range. You can see tonight that's not the case at all. Another turnover. Ogman forces the pace. Finds Hunt on the break. Beautiful. And Brett, they're really getting confidence now. There it is again. Another steal. It was Ogman Hunt right down the middle by the University of Nevada at Las Vegas. Whoops to Leitner from Hurley. Misses, and that's an indication of how this game is gone. At the other end, it is Hunt bringing it into the pass. Altman, and it's all the way. And on Duke, whenever they get the ball down in low. Coming through two, and the defense was there again. And now it's into the hands of Butler. Everybody runs the floor right now. He squeezes through. What a rebound. Big man. Larry Johnson off with the rebound. 72-47. Hunt hits a three. And folks, this one's a sense officiating. Lob deep to Scully. McCaffrey. I bet you Duke players think there are six Vegas players playing defense on half court against them. There's just a man every passing lane. There was a... And Duke just can't get it to fall. Henderson managed to take it away from Young, but coming back up has it stripped. Johnson's great hands. Hunt wants the three. You know, Brent, Jerry Tarkanian got great reputation for his man-to-man -man defense at UNLV. When he was at Long Beach, Position. That's why he gets so many of those put shots. 22 points, 8 rebounds for Larry Johnson. Hunt from the side of Henderson could not stop. Still missing from three point range. And Johnson off with another rebound. Snap pass now to Hunt. Score the triple. Because of some of those now, Tarkanian was ordered suspended for two years by the NCAA, and that suit went all the way to the Supreme Court. has provided some character and leadership for this team. And so not all of what you hear and see with the Shark is bad. There's certainly not activities in terms of their practice sessions and the way his team performs. Johnson. And the putback by Arthur. Great fans in Las Vegas, we should point out. You can hear the noise in the background. They have a lot of them in McNichols here tonight. As Sianovich hits the three. NCAA championship game. And that was the UCLA. Buries a three. Battle. Moses Curry were eligible. Jones was the starting center on this clock. Good luck shot. Larry Johnson just a man among boys in this game. Before the game, Vice misfiring and Man, Johnson gets it back and now John came into the room with his son and spoke to the team it was all of that early misfiring and still doesn't have a field goal since the UCLA game that's Dave Rice putting and for people who think that this Vegas team is going to to 68, and uh, certainly when we look back to the 80s, that string of remarkable NCAA championship game. A route won by the San Francisco 49ers. Davis on his left, and they turn it over again. Jones wanted to make a fancy play. This game, 103 to 70. championship team as well, so he's got a long, arduous summer. Lost it, and coming back is Hurley. But this night belongs to Las Vegas.